Welcome to Hudson Raider Hockey on the River Channel. I'm Chris Larson, and we're at John Gornick Memorial Arena tonight for a conference matchup with the Hudson Raiders and the Chippewa Falls Cardinals. And tonight, Paul Pruitt taking the evening off. I've got a, a voice that may be familiar to you who've been watching Hudson Hockey on the River Channel for a while. Dave Drewiski joins us tonight. Dave, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Chris. Should be a good night. Two evenly matched teams, both with 500 record. Josh Mattis in goal, junior uh, for the Raiders. And number two, A.J. Romanowski. He's only a freshman. Trapicio Daniel. What a fantastic plus nine game against Eau Claire North last week. James Fall, a senior at one wing. Lawrence Pruitt at the other wing, who's also a senior. And Dylan Haskins, the team sniper, number 21 at uh, center. So it should be an interesting matchup here. We'll tell you more about it after the National Anthem. You're in for a treat here. Katie Altman, Altman an eighth grader in Hudson Middle School will be singing the National Anthem. about you, Chris, but I think we could be hearing Katie Altman and uh, American Idol or something in the future. Great voice, great uh, rendition of the national anthem. Definitely uh, a great voice, and as you alluded to, Dave, we really got two evenly matched teams. Both teams come in here with 500 record. Both teams three and two in the Big Rivers Conference. If you look up and down that schedule, they both beat the same teams, both lost to the same teams. So this is definitely a kind of a, a game that's going <laughs> to really decide kind of where the middle of that conference is at. Yeah, very different teams though. Uh, Chippewa is a high scoring team, but they also don't seem to be, be playing very good defense. They've scored 58 goals on the year, but give, have given up 46. Hudson on the other hand, 43 goals, but they've only given up 29. That's pretty good, 11 games, 29 goals. So Hudson a little more emphasis on defense. Chippewa Falls, more emphasis on offense. The player to watch for Chippewa, senior, Number 21, uh, this Logan Murphy with 27 points, of which 14 are goals. Uh, his wings are Garrett Nelson, who's a junior, and number 19, Josh Flagg, uh, who's a sophomore. Uh, small but skilled. One of the things we've seen a lot this year is the Raiders uh, face some high-scoring opponents, and they really haven't scored a whole lot when they come in here to play Hudson. Now the Raiders played in a Christmas tournament uh, up at the Schwann's rink in Blaine and came away with a consolation uh, championship win there. Uh, they lost in their first round to Moundsview 4-2, to two, but then beat Sartell 7-1 to one and beat Orno in a shootout uh, to claim that con consolation. There's Haskins uh, winning the faceoff. 
Fall comes up with it. Haskins. Oh, great opportunity there. Right off the faceoff for Haskins. Haskins is a real sniper, top scorer for the Raiders on the year. Fall giving pressure. The, that four checking helped. Oh, pass intercepted. Hudson likes to cycle down low. Here's Trapicio with it. Trapicio, Chris had, had number, a number that I've never heard against the Flair North in the Hudson's last game, which was kind of a, a walkover, 11 to nothing, but Trapicio was a plus nine. And, and for those of you who don't know who that means, uh, there were nine goals scored at even strength when Trapicio was on the ice. Uh, he's a very good defenseman. He's actually a junior, but in his third year on varsity, he logs a lot of minutes for Coach Mike Staska. The gifted player had a hat trick here earlier in the season. And that's very rare for a defenseman. We've got Hudson's August Newton in uh, with some pressure now. And we'll get we'll settle down and get these numbers here. There's uh, Josh Dardine in there on defense. Puck will come back. Taylor Casey giving chase. David Kane also in there with August Newton. In. Uh, we got a real uh, interesting line, uh, pair of wingers here. Newton's 5'6 at best. David Kane, 6'4. Uh, he, ju he just keeps growing. Uh, he started third year on varsity. He was probably 5'11 when he first uh, wore the Raider uh, varsity sweater. Okay, Hudson is going to switch lines here. Greg Berg. Uh, one of the wings, number five, and we'll take it, taking that face off was Emerson Corum, number 19. Mattis defends his first shot Corum and goal. Coming with speed into the Chippewa zone. Oh, uh, neck was dislodged. Josh Corum, Dardine. Corum centered for Dardine uh, in front of the net and uh, Net, net was dislodged, but a good scoring chance there for the Raiders. So they'll reset with Corum taking the face off for the for the Raiders. Henry Bros, number 17, is the other wing uh, on that line. Uh, Corum taking the face off here. Corum gets it over to. Br Here's Greg Puck Berg in the corner. In the Pichio backing up. Chip dumps it in the dumps it in the zone. Trapicio, now to Greg Berg. Berg dumps it in. Hudson changes lines. The one line. Hudson's uh, got the got a very veteran team. Eleven seniors, uh, and they've got enough depth to play three lines which is relatively unusual uh, in Wisconsin hockey to have enough depth to play three lines. Hudson's main problem this year, they've, they've played hard, they've been competitive, it's, it's been scoring. Uh, well, we've got face-off Murphy against Haskins. Lavelle dumps it in, puck comes right back behind the chip net. This fall giving, giving chase. Stephen Berkey will control it. Gets it over Romanowski. Yeah. Stephen Berkey, uh, very good football player. He was uh, all-conference defensive lineman for Hudson. You don't see a lot of defensive linemen that are nimble enough. Uh, there's a shot. Uh, comes into the slot. Hudson playing good defense in the slot. Uh, and the puck comes out to the point, sent right back in, knocked down and carried out of the zone by Fall. Fall comes in with speed. There should be interference called, yes. Yeah, interference, uh, two chip defenders pinched Haskins as he went to the net, and somebody's gonna go into the sin bin for that. Okay, Hudson will go on to power play. Yeah, the Raiders with Berkey, uh, all-conference defensive lineman. They actually have another defensive lineman on this team, and that's uh, Matt Stracota, the other goaltender. He's a heck of a defensive lineman as well. Yeah, he was unanimous all-conference at nose guard. So. David Kane taking the face off 
for the Raiders. Now Taylor Casey handles it, kicks it up to Trapiccio. Drops it in, there's a little give and go. Oh, Trapiccio just wide, comes right back out. Berkey shoots, big crowd in front, puck comes out. Now sent back on, oh, got by Berkey. Hudson will have to reset. Mattis settles it down. Trapiccio being, oh, a hard four check there by Chip. They've got three guys in the Hudson zone. Pretty aggressive. But uh, we've got the two most veteran coaches in the Big Rivers Conference going at it here. Scott Parker for Chippewa and Mike Stoskoff for Hudson. Stoskoff is the third winningest coach in Wisconsin high school hockey history. He's been the coach and the only coach at Hudson since the hockey program started in the late 1980s. Uh, we accuse him of being about 12 uh, when, when he started coaching. <laughs> That was a battle down in the corner. Hudson really hasn't set up other than early in that power play. Still a minute left in the advantage Pruitt for the Raiders. Coming in hard. Pruitt was an all-conference uh, defensive back in football. Hudson uh, had a very good year in football. There's a oh a deflection on a centering pass by uh, James Fall. There's Haskins. He's got Pruitt. Pruitt in the middle. Opportunity. Oh, opportunity in the middle. The, high, the low slot there for Fall, uh, covered up by Schlaget. Schlaget's log, logged most of the minutes for Chippewa this year. Uh, a rather unimpressive 4.67 goals against average, uh, but he always plays against the toughest teams Chippewa plays. Kane took the face off for Hudson. 25 seconds left in the Hudson power play. Here's A.J. Romanowski. Uh, the only freshman on the Hudson team. There's a nice pass to Berg. Berg. Oh. Well, Taylor hard Casey. Check there. Taylor Casey taking off the puck. Romanowski battles for it against Flag. Now we're caught right down below us. Oh, come, comes out to neutralize. Where Quadi sends it back. To Romanowski. So we're back at full strength for both teams here. Puck dumped in the chip zone. We got Lavelle trying to clear the zone. Picked up, shot, knocked down in front of the net. Tabricio keeps it in the zone and sends it back behind the chip end line. There's a little foot pass out of the zone. Stolen. Oh, but there's an offside. A little anxious there, that's Henry Bros. Uh, uh, Hudson hadn't cleared the zone. We've got a, our uh, Hudson's line coming out right now. Uh, you got Ben Lewis, Greg Berg. Uh, you got Henry Bros out there, Stephen Berkey and Trapiccio. Taking the face off is Greg Berg. Hudson's lines uh, in a lot of games run fairly even minutes uh, other than special teams. So you'll see, be seeing all these guys. Uh, there's a puck over skated by Trapiccio. Chippewa, very hard four check. Three guys down low. Now this allows Berg to break out. Now Trapiccio, I don't think he saw uh, Henry Bros over there on the on the far wing. So we'll set it up here. So an offside. Right next to the blue line once again. Haskins taking the face off this time. Pruitt and Fall in there. Quadi and Trapiccio. Here's Pruitt. Good. Gets uh, oh, oh boy, that was a wide open net. You don't see you don't see Haskins miss that that uh, shot with that kind of opening very often. Uh, he's Hudson's leading scorer. Uh, great opportunity, great setup in front. Nice pass there by Pruitt. Haskins back in there. Puck rung around but kept in. Here's Quaddy, shot just wide. Comes out to neutralize. Picked up by Trapiccio. Trapiccio's got Mr. Murphy dogging him. 
Uh, fall, little short pass. Now, once again, up to Pruitt. Pruitt in, into the slot with speed. Puck chipped away to the corner. Haskins leaves it for Pruitt. Pruitt over to Fall. Fall pivots. Leaves it. Now he sends it out to Haskins. Haskins in the slot. Shot right on net. Hudson doing a good job getting some traffic in front. Oh, here's, here's Murphy, two on one with Trapicio. There's a nice, nice job of defense there by Trapicio. He stopped the pass. Uh, Haskins just sends it over the wall there. Kind of gives the Raiders a chance to regroup. Well, Mattis knocked that goal mouth pass down. Uh, looked like a dangerous situation there, Chris, but uh, some good patient defense by Trapicio stopped the Cardinals from any damage. Romanowski comes away with the puck, comes out to the point. Lavelle sends it in. Oh, into the slot. Berkey breaks it up. Berkey's going to go for contact to the head. Uh, it looks like. Chips got some guys that they list on the program at 5'6", which means probably 5'6 in skates. <laughs> Berkey's a big, strong guy, and uh, a little contact there. And Well, with all the concussions we're seeing these days, I think the officials are calling that pretty tight. But we've seen it kind of go different ways. Some officials are really tight with it, and the other ones kind of let it go. One thing, uh, one thing we can guarantee is if anybody gets hit from behind, they're going to the sin bin with all the unfortunate injuries that have happened in Minnesota hockey in the last couple of weeks. So... I actually work with uh, the, the guy whose uh, son from Benilde St. Margaret's is, is paralyzed. So it's a, it's a scary thing. It's a rare thing. But uh, referees will not tolerate any checking from behind. There's a shot, big rebound. Uh, puck comes out to the point. There's Lavelle. And good job of tipping the puck away by Trapicio. Hudson pinning the forward up against boards. That's Rumanowski out there, still battling. We're midway through the period, eight and a half left in the first period, scoreless. Okay, Hudson, clean steal, here's Fall. Got it out of the zone, now Chip reverses. They'll switch out personnel. Sebaska with the puck. Sebaska has seven goals on this season, good opportunity in the high slot. For Murphy, now puck comes back and Mattis wisely buries it. 34 seconds left on the Chippewa Falls power play. Chippewa's had the puck down in the Raiders zone for most of the uh, power play, but the Raiders have done a good job limiting the shots by the Cardinals. Yeah, they keep them on the outside where you know, it's rare to do damage. That's, that's a good thing. Um, Face off now. Uh, Looks like Haskins in there to take it for the Raiders. Haskins against Nelson. Uh, there's a puck. Oh, Hudson's smacking at it. Now, now finally controlled by Haskins. He's got Pruitt. Pruitt streaking. Uh, couldn't quite handle that long outlet pass. Well, Pruitt taking off the puck. Nelson pivots around, Pruitt muscling him. Now Puck, oh, he almost got it to Haskins. There's Chip, nice, nice shoulder laid there by Trapicio. Separated the man from his stick. Raiders about to go full strength here. Power play's over. Oh, a hard shot from the point. Well, here. There's Kane. We've got Kane coming in with some speed, sets up, waits for help. Trapicio dumps it down in. Here's Haskins with the puck, tries to slide it in front. Great opportunity. Oh, oh, another great opportunity. Oh, Hudson with four great. Fall, Kane, Haskins all had opportunities right in the doorstep. Couldn't get it over Schlagett. He's a tall goalie. There's, there's Haskins muscling the man off the puck. Now Trapicio skates it out, sends a hard, hard pass up to Casey. 
And uh, big and, shot there from Quaddy. Well, Quaddy is not afraid to hit. He put the lumber to him right there. There's Newton. Oh, dumped into the Hudson zone by Newton. Ben Lewis giving chase down there. Looks like we're going to have an icing call. Why is it, uh, Chris, that everybody that's of Finnish heritage is a skater? We got uh, <laughs> Newton out there. Uh, I remember watching him as a little kid. He could skate when he was about three years old, as good as most varsity players. So it's good he's a sophomore and uh, doing a nice job as one of the wings for Hudson here. He and Bros are first year uh, varsity players. Is Romanowski sending it hard in behind the Chippewa net. Big bounce there, corralled. Uh, Try to get the bros. Oh, oh, hard shot. Well, I can see why Sabaska, he's the second leading scorer on the uh, chip team with seven goals. Nice hard shot. Mattis is a tall goaltender, about six foot two, so he can always cover that top shelf, which is where Sabasco is shooting. 544 left in the first period. Chippewa falls and Hudson tied at zero. Chippewa in the black sweaters, Raiders in the white. Hudson controlling the puck, comes out, uh, Quaddy, and then puck knocked out by Haskins. It's sent right back in the Hudson zone. Shots are fairly even here, seven to five. Hudson's definitely had the better scoring chances. There's Haskins chipping it into the zone, ends up with it on his stick, centers it. Can't quite get it to his running mate through it. Puck comes out to center ice. Romanowski. Murphy couldn't handle it. Romanowski over to Tapicio. Tapicio up to Kane. Kane Sends it back to Tripp. Tripp sends a long pass up. He was expecting Newton to break, uh, trying to hit him on the fly, uh, caused an icing and a face off in the Hudson zone. It seems like this season, Dave, at least at home, uh, no matter how high scoring the team coming in is, seems like we skate the pretty tight games here at home. We do. Um, our guys play very hard. I mean, it's part of being seniors. A lot of them, two or three years varsity experience. Uh, last year, they had a superstar in, uh, in the name of uh, Ryan Dow. This year, they don't have a pure scorer. They've got some good scorers, especially Dylan Haskins, but they knew they'd have to play hard to win. Now, hard shot, another oh, opportunity in the slot. Just over the stick of Taylor Casey. The Raiders have also done a nice job of limiting uh, their opponents' opportunities, though. A lot of these teams coming in average five, six goals a game, and seems like we're always skating the three-one, three-two kind of kind of games here. Yeah, even Chip, uh, even uh, Eau Claire Memorial, who's uh, you know, ranked number five or six in state, Hudson played them very even, coming out on the short end of a three-to-two score, but gave them a heck of a game here at John Gornick Arena. There's Murphy trying to. Come in, Trapicio rides him off the puck. Haskins picks it up, sends it up to Fall and out to Laval on the point. Laval shot, knocked wide. Trapicio with the puck, sends it up to Pruitt. Pruitt leaves it for Haskins. Haskins a little give and go to Fall. Fall, you can tell these guys have played together since they were squirts. That was a great play. Here's a nice, oh, Trapicio just not quite able to catch up with that centering pass. Puck comes over, there's Tabisha shot and block. Chip unable to clear it. Through it, leaves it. Berg. Hard shot by Berg. Knocked down by Schlaget. Hudson's really pressuring right now. Here's Nelson skating it out of the zone. Chippewa takes a much needed line change. Puck stolen by Berkey. It's kept in. By, by Berkey. Berkey sends it on net just a little wide. Scrambling to get the puck, Emerson Corum. 
Hook sent back in. Lavelle tried to clear, knocked down in front. And there will be an ice on Chip. Great pressure uh, in the last two minutes here by, by Hudson. Raiders looking to get the ball into the, or the, the puck into the net here before the end of the period. It's 2.38 left to go in the first. Well, Hudson's a very good skating team, Chris, uh, and they're starting to use that speed to their advantage. Uh, just pressuring Chip so much, they haven't even been able to uh, change lines. Uh, well, when you get a guy caught out there for a minute and a half or so, their legs start to go on them. Uh, these kids are in good shape, but if they're out there too long, that lactic acid builds up in their legs and, and they eventually wear down. Well, the refs are letting them play, Chris. I like that. <laughs> Not, I, don't, I don't like seeing that arm come up. Here's a puck stolen by by far the biggest guy on the uh, Chippewa Falls roster, uh, number 27, Austin Taylor. But he got taken out at the blue line. I'm used to seeing some big guys that change their football pads for hockey pads on, uh, oh, a stick just broke for the chip guy. That's, that's when parents are so glad they spend $200 on a stick when they break right at the moment of truth. Uh, Haskins picking it up, sends it to Fall. Fall settles it, brings it over where Trapicio dumps it in the Chippewa zone. Little chip pass and uh, Chippewa does get, the does get the zone. Haskins does a nice job back checking, comes up to Fall. It's Gage Burkle uh, for Chippewa. And finally, Quaddy skates it out. Quaddy shot just wide of the net. Hudson's, both of Hudson's D's were in there. Hudson changes lines. Kane knocks it down. Now Laval ends up with the puck on his stick. Minute left in the first period. Still skating scoreless here with Chippewa Falls and Hudson Raiders. Here's Romanowski, quick pass. Up. Kane over to Trapichel and dumped in by Newton. Here's Kane with pressure on Swenson. Well, he's a big freshman, number eight. Swenson, one of their starting Ds. Berkey sends it over to Newton. Newton on to Kane, Kane leaves it for Luke Newton. No, a hard shot on net by Bros. Or excuse me, Casey, number 16. Berkey with a steal. by Berkey, Berkey stick handles around one man, waiting for a little help. Ryan Heck, also a, a big player for Chip. Uh, they battle to a draw in the corner. Wow. And I think we're going to, Hudson's going to start. With an advantage there. That was, uh, that was Logan Murphy. slash by Murphy. Yeah, Logan Murphy. That's kind of the superstar here for Chippewa Falls. And a little frustration down there in the corner. And uh, he's going to start the second period in the box. So that's the end of one. The Raiders and Chippewa Falls. Tied up at zero, Raiders will start the second period with a nice opportunity. Chip will fall's biggest weapon in the box. So we'll see you in just a second with the second period. Chris Larson and Dave Drewiski back at Gornick Arena for the second period. And as we mentioned before, the Raiders starting off the power play here. Yeah, Hudson had some great chances to score in that first period, uh, both on when they were on the power play and a couple of time, uh, opportunities down low. Didn't quite connect. But we'll see if they can uh, take advantage of a hot temper by Mr. Logan Murphy, uh, who slashed Stephen Berkey right at the end of the period to give Hudson a two-minute power play to start the second period. Saw a lot of end-to-end -end action here. Hudson probably carrying the play. They have an 11-6 shot advantage and definitely uh, three or four quality scoring opportunities to Chippewa Falls, uh, who only had one. Puck coming out to fall at center ice. Leaves it for Tapicio who carries it. Sends it to Haskins. Haskins shot deflected by Laval. No. Whoa! Rebound came right in front. Haskins came in and poked it home. Between <laughs> That took all of 17 seconds for Hudson to score. 
Yeah, they shot that puck and it just sat there right in front of the goal. And Aston's came back the second time and put it through. So the Raiders with a one nothing lead now, just again, 17 seconds into the period. They tickle the twine. And okay, the scoring on that, uh, Haskins who poked home the hard rebound off the back wall, assisted by Trevisio and Fall. Back to even strength hockey now. There's a centering pass right in front. Pruitt couldn't get it, leaves it for Fall. Or excuse me, Haskins, there's a nice centering pass by Haskins in front. Fall tipped it, but it went wide. There's Kwadi keeping it in for Hudson. Nelson leaves it for Laval. Puck sent out, center ice. There's a centering pass. It's too high and just not able tried to control it. Take it out of midair. Here's Nelson with it. Nelson puck knocked out. Broken up there by Henry Bros. And Bros is uh, one of the two new players. Hudson had a very veteran team. The only two new varsity players this year are Henry Bros, number 17, and freshman AJ Romanowski. There's a hard shot. Oh, great opportunity there by Bros. Just about put it home. Defenseman did a st stick check right at the end. Romanowski sends it in on net. Deflection gloved by Schlaget. That Bros had a goal in that come from behind victory at River Falls. That goal is one of the big ones that kind of turned that game for the Raiders. You know, I think next year we're probably going to see two Bros brothers. I watched Hudson's Bantam team play a little earlier in the year. He's got a younger brother. Uh, He's a very good player on that Bantam team um, named Walter. Uh, here's Berg uh, down in the corner. There's a nice give and go by Hudson. Romanowski, quick shot into the slot, knocked down. Now carried out by Stoffel. Stoffel dumps it in. No ice here. Big Taylor. The Chip's got a fairly small team. Oh, there's a nice centering pass. Oh, opportunity in front. Bros did a nice job breaking that one up. For Sebaska. This puck sent right back into the Chippewa zone by Romanowski. Heads up play there to give Hudson a chance to change lines. David Keane sends the puck out to Quaddy. Quaddy skating in around a diving defenseman. Shoot right on net. Great tip. Opportunity, Schluckett somehow got it. He has a big five hole, Chris. <laughs> I think they're, they're going for that right now. Nice opportunity. Quaddy did a nice job being patient with that puck there. The uh, defender kind of laid down. Quaddy just went around him, had a nice nice opportunity there on net. Yeah, Quaddy, for any of you that are young defensemen, that's the kind of shot you want to put on net. You're not trying to score, you're trying to create opportunities for deflections. Hudson almost connected there. Good job, Jake Quaddy. The puck tipped high and out of play. Hudson, uh, real aggressive with their playmaking. Their, their passing is a lot crisper. I, I saw one game earlier in the year against Eau Claire Memorial, and Hudson was tentative on their passes. Not so tonight. One of the things that we've really seen is uh, when Pruitt has entered this, this first line, Pruitt's a really aggressive skater, maybe the most aggressive skater that the Raiders have. Uh, you know, Haskins is kind of the, the shot maker, but Pruitt, very aggressive on his skates. Okay, chip on the, on the power play now. Taylor Casey was caught for cross-checking down below us where we couldn't see it. Hudson's penalty killing unit. Oh, Haskins just about sold it. Now Pruitt's got it. Pruitt. And that'll be an offside. Oh. Hudson very close to a two-on-one. Pruitt and Haskins being aggressive. Chippewa Falls, uh, kind of a dangerous pass on the blue line there, Chris. Hudson switches her penalty kill unit. Here's Keane out there on the center. Puck dumped in. We'll do it all over again. Puck must have gone out of play. We got a blind spot down below us here. Uh, 
We've been telling the players not to skate down here, but uh, so far they <laughs> haven't listened. Yeah, there seems to be a big magnet right down below us. A.J. Romanowski sends it hard around the boards. Hudson guys are used to this high glass we have up on the spectator side of the rink. Romanowski tried to take advantage of that. Here's Flag sending it over. Oh, there's a miss hit. Oh, opportunity Dang. here for, it's the fall. for fall. He's in all alone. He tried a five hole. Schlaget got to that. There's a puck coming over to Murphy. Murphy taking hard off the puck, gets it over to Laval, whose shot was blocked in front by Keane. And comes out to Fall. Fall sends it down into the chip zone. Chip back at it, quick. Here's Stoffel leaving. Great job there in front by Romanowski, anticipating that shot from the slot. Here's Nelson with it. Nelson pivoting back to Murphy. Repetio Murphy's defending. small but dangerous. Uh, got twice as many points as any player on the Chippewa team. Here's Nelson trying to shot, knocked down by Mattis. Mattis staying calm. There's Trapicio battling. A puck shot on net. Puck comes out and taken out of the zone. And Pruitt with it. Pruitt around his man. Pruitt trying to lean in, looking for help right now. Centers it. Oh, Raiders great back opportunity at full for Haskins. Haskins couldn't quite pull the trigger on that. Perfect tape to take pass from Pruitt. And there's an icing call. Raiders back at full strength. Did a nice job on the penalty kill. And really one thing we've seen out of the Raiders this year is they've come up with some scoring opportunities while on the penalty kill this year. They've got those big, I mean, Hudson's got a lot of length this year, Chris. A lot of tall guys, guys six foot or better, both Pruitt and Haskins. Uh, both good athletes, uh, anticipate well. There's a nice job. Henry Bro is on the back check. Berkey picks it up. Berkey leaves it for Quaddy. Quaddy sends it over for Bros. Bros up to Newtonen. Quaddy leaves it for Bros. Bros dumps it in the corner, chases it down, battling. Now puck comes off the back of the net. Ben Lewis centers or sends it out. There's it Berkey with a shot on net. Lewis tried to put it back. Quaddy dumps it into the corner. Lewis ridden off the puck, sent over to the corner by Steinmetz. Ready to switching out some uh, personnel. Nice pressure, Hudson able to, uh, just given where the benches are this quarter, they can, or this period, they can switch lines very quickly. They're waving that off. Trapicio with the puck, gets it got a delayed penalty coming up here. Here's Newton coming into the zone. Newton leaves it for Kane. Kane shot on net. Newton with the puck. Avoids that check. He get, didn't avoid that check. Okay, you now that delayed penalty for a rough against Chippewa. Raiders will be back in the power play for the second time in this period. Leading it 1-0 with 10.39 left in the second. Raiders 1-0 lead over Chippewa Falls. Hudson in the white sweaters tonight. Chippewa Falls in the black and red. Big number 27, Austin Taylor going to the going to the sin bin for a rough. Hudson on their second power play of the period. Only took him 17 seconds. Oh, two penalties. So the Raiders skating five on three now. We've got boarding and a roughing call. Well, Berkey. Well, there's Hudson with a five on three. They got to make this pay. There's Fall with the puck. Haskins looking for an opening, sends it back to Fall. Hudson's got Pruitt and Trapicio. Oh, a little too hard off the boards there. Hudson's Haskins is going to have to set it back up again. There's Pruitt leaving it for Trapicio. Trapicio's got a nice shot from the point. Berkey back to Trapicio. Trapicio's shot, kick to the corner. 
Murphy clears it. These are coincidental. It's, it's rare you see a five on three uh, with a full two minutes of five on three opportunity here for Hudson. Hudson just needs to be patient. If they can score, uh, only one penalty goes off. This puck left for Haskins. Berkey with it to Bisho. Back to Berkey. Berkey trying for that far post. Laval does not clear the zone. Puck sent in front. Chip was able to clear it. 40 comes seconds wide left. To Pichel. 40 seconds left on the two man advantage. Lavelle sends it hard around the boards. Comes out to Berkey. Berkey over to Trepicio. Trepicio skating in. Shot. Oh, it looked like there's another shot just high. Berkey shot hit the, or Trepicio shot hit the crossbar there. Just a fraction of an inch from uh, the second Hudson Tail. There's a shot in front. Buck sitting out there. There's a, oh, Pruitt. By Pruitt. <laughs> I think Pruitt thought he put it in there. Well, there's Fall, Berkey in the in the middle, a little too hot. And that's Pruitt. the end of the advantage. Hudson's at man advantage, or two man advantage. There's another opportunity there, another shot in front. That and time he got it. Pruitt. Pruitt gets it. Hudson didn't quit. They kept the same five guys out there the whole time, and finally, just as the penalty elapsed, uh, the penalties had elapsed. Hey, yeah, you've got that extra four or five second as uh, Chippewa tries to get their personnel and their Raiders still skating with the advantage even though the power play was over. And uh, Pruitt had that puck sitting right out front, went top shelf right over the goalkeeper's shoulder and gives the Raiders a two to nothing lead. And Pruitt, Haskins. Pruitt's second goal of the season, and the assist goes to Dylan Haskins. Hudson doing a good job defending in their zone. Anytime, Hudson's definitely got an advantage in team speed. Chip looks like they, they maybe have a step. The Hudson guys close quickly and ride them off the puck. Uh, the good team defense, but that's in part the reason that Hudson has given up so few goals this year. Uh, they, they come to play every night. Puck hits the net, so we'll have a face off there. David Kane taking it for the Raiders, and Mattis with the save. Big number 18, Ryan Heck, uh, with a shot on net there. Kane back in there again for the Raiders. Uh, Heck again, another shot uh, they got through. Battling in there, but Kane comes out. Kane out to Newton. Well, the puck skitters out to center ice. Keen, as Hudson centers do, floating high and uh, brings that in. Newton and sends it into the corner. There's Burroughs coming with it. Nice centering pass. Newton, uh, Berg gets it. Berg looking for Taylor Casey. Okay, we've got... Uh, Battle down in the corner. Ben Lewis, Greg Berg. Now it comes out to Trapicio. Oh, puck stolen. This is flag taken hard off the puck by Romanowski. You know, for a freshman, he, he can lay the lumber, can he not, Chris? <laughs> that was a nice, nice hip check by A.J. Romanowski. If you're going to see time as a freshman, you better be better than all the juniors and seniors. Yeah. Coach Staskov's philosophy is... Uh, a freshman needs to be able to play right away. Otherwise, he'd rather have them play Bantams where they can play a lot more games and take a few more risks uh, learning, learning to play the game. Josh Mattis covering up. Hudson doing a line change uh, back to their first line. Well, we're seeing good pressure from all of Hudson's lines, all of them getting scoring opportunities. Uh, they got a two-to-one shot advantage here. Now, part of that was thanks to a five on three penalty uh, uh, advantage, but there's a puck laying in the, oh, laying in the slot. Nice centering opportunity. Trapicio calmly steers it out, and here goes Pruitt. 
with speed into the chip zone. Hard shot, just wide. Fall trying to catch up to the carom. Comes out to center ice. Berkey loses it. Berkey battling back. And yeah, there's a delayed well, caller on Berkey. Yeah. Well, Mr. Nelson, who's a second leading scorer for Chippewa, was in Berkey. Well, if you're going to take a penalty, that's a good one to take. Yeah, able to really uh, take away a breakaway opportunity for Chippewa Falls. And Dave, you're talking about the depth of the Raiders. And one thing that we've seen, at least when we've been covering these games, is the Raiders certainly seem to have the third period advantage. And that comes from having three lines that can go out there. And the third line can uh, put just as many attempts on goal as the first line. And when you can play that many players come the third period, your players are going to be fresher than uh, the opponents. Yeah, it, it really, you can really st see the advantage of depth, especially as you get into the uh, third period. Uh, Wisconsin changed uh, from 15 minute periods to 17 minute periods about six years ago. And it's really, a lot of teams can only field two good lines. Uh, that extra two minutes really takes its toll. There's Kane dumping in into the zone. Pruitt giving chase. Hudson being fairly aggressive on the penalty kill. Dumped in by Laval. Chip coming hard. Stoffel sends it back behind the net, trying to center it. Michel battling, sends it up towards, and now he comes away with it and sends it to the far corner. Hudson's being very patient, playing good position, not letting Chippewa get shots from good scoring uh, angles. One, 115 left in the power play for Chippewa. Nice job by James Fall, staying with his man all the way through. Puck comes back out. There's nice, nice job there, Taylor Casey. Chasing down that loose puck and sending it into the chip zone. 45 seconds left on the Chippewa power play. And Falls still just harassing Chippewa Falls in their own zone. Here comes Haskins. Haskins shot on net. I think uh, that means uh, the shots during this Chippewa Falls power play are even now, one apiece. 25 seconds left in the advantage for Chip. There, Chip, uh, Chip goes offside there. Nelson got a little too fancy trying to enter the zone. He's a, got good speed, pretty nifty puck handler. But he waited too long to come, come in the zone. Berkey in the box for 19 more seconds and the Raiders will be at full strength. Kane taking the face off against Nelson. Puck comes out, dumped in by Taylor. Puck comes in front. Kane handles it. Kane sends it out, Lavelle's got it. Lavelle skating in, puck knocked down in front, comes over to Newton and Newton sends it out to neutralize. Knocked down by Swenson. I think Hudson's gonna get it for too many men here, Chris. <laughs> Berkey came out of the box and someone had already jumped over from the bench area. Yeah, you're right. Taylor in the box, uh, excuse me, Taylor Casey in the box. Too many men on the ice. We saw that in a college basketball game earlier this week. Uh, Louisiana Lafayette won a game with six players on the court for the last 20 seconds of the game and the officials never caught it. These officials right on top of it here. Never <laughs> caught it. Never caught it. Louisiana Lafayette scored the winning goal or winning basket with six guys on the court. Huh, nobody threw out the little uh, challenge flag? <laughs> <laughs> well, Hudson gets to test their penalty kill unit here. Trapicio took the face off. Laval, who's logged a ton of minutes for Chip, uh, skating along the blue line, dumps it uh, Haskins. on Haskins' stick. Two on two here. A little flip over to Trapicio. Trapicio down in the corner. He's just going to burn some time now. Very smart hockey player. Chip comes away with it. Trapicio coming off. Fall coming on. 
Ball deflects Buck Haskins working hard. Now Fall picks up the loose change. Fall in one on one, carries it into the zone, gets around the check. Fall reverses. Here's Haskins in to help out. Puck finally comes up on the sideboards. And Haskins stays with that check. Air Mattis leaves it behind the net. Picked up by Berkey. Berkey over to Romanowski. Romanowski flips it out of the zone. And Chip will have to go 200 feet for another opportunity. There are long clearing pass. That'll be an ice. And they're going to have to go 200 feet again. <laughs> That'll burn some clock. There's 48 seconds left in the penalty. Hudson's being very efficient on the penalty kill. We can't praise him too much until uh, this power play is over, but uh, they're skating hard, being uh, very effective on their forecheck. Puck comes out to Romanowski. Romanowski tipped in front. Schlagett had to make a save there. Here's Laval up. And the puck flipped in behind the boards. Nelson loses the puck. Here Kane out. Laval sending it in front. Tip went wide. Heck down in the corner. Here's Pruitt. Pruitt clears the zone. That's where you love that high glass, Chris. <laughs> you can always. You can always clear the zone if you use that glass right. Another shot on net by Berkey from center ice. And that's going to get the Raiders out of the power play back at full strength. There's two minutes left in the period, and the Raiders leading two to nothing. Uh, there's Berkey stealing a long scoring or long pass by Chip. Chip trying to hit. They're literally playing suck hole, Chris, by floating their forwards that high, having no luck uh, connecting on those long passes. Trebisio knocks it down, sends it in on net. There's Henry Burroughs sending it in to the slot. Lewis trying to center. Nice putback attempt. Oh, great shot. Now the goalie tripped. Uh, Big time Henry Bros. Uh, Trevisio controlling the puck. Send it back for Lewis behind the net. Lewis centers it. Oh, bounced off Schlagett. Puck still loose, and now the puck comes off his, or the net comes off its moorings. And Schlagett laying on the ice for quite a while after that play. Now he gets up. Yeah, he covers a lot of net. Uh, big guy. They list him at 6'2". He even looks taller than that. He stuck Long. his hand out there and uh, kind of whiffed on his attempt to, to put it in the glove. The puck just kind of stood out there, and he really kind of got bailed out by that net coming loose. Getting the gear put back on as Haskins, Fall, Pruitt, Trapiccio, and Quadi await the puck to drop. Kind of a – oh, here's a here's a long – Clearing pass, shot by Stoffel, easily gloved. Chip is just trying to do those long outlet passes. They, they have really not had any success trying to skate the puck in. Uh, or Hudson's just been very aggressive. They marked their men, stay with them, and uh, really have minimized Chippewa's opportunities here in the second period. There's a clean win of the faceoff. Romanowski leaves the puck for Pruitt. Pruitt up to Haskins. Haskins chips it into the Chippewa zone. Chased down there by Brown. Brown sends it around. Nice centering pass. Oh, fall. <laughs> Haskins oh. put it right out there for fall. Oh. He just couldn't control it. Just like a big Thanksgiving turkey on the platter and James <laughs> <laughs> couldn't put it away. Uh, He's going to be watching that tonight in his dreams. James... Uh, you know, hadn't scored until his senior year, but in the first game he scored, he got two. So we're hoping for another one. He had a good opportunity there. Uh, Hudson still doubling up on Chippewa uh, shots on uh, uh, for shots, 26 to 13. 30 seconds left in the period here. Here's Trapicio 
knocks that down. Puck carried in. All right, kind of a crazy goal there, chipped in. It looked like Mattis had it covered. Somehow it, it was poked in. And that puck just kind of floated out there in the crease and they were able to send it through. So Chippewa falls with the goal with 21 seconds remaining in the period and that cuts the Hudson lead to two to one. Boy, Hudson had a totally dominated play throughout the period. That's put some life into the Cardinal bench right below us here. Been pretty quiet over the last 15 minutes. Well, somehow Gage Burkle put that in the net. It looked like Mattis had it covered. I was expecting a whistle. I think the whole Hudson team was. And uh, it was poked home. Uh, so Chippewa ends up uh, narrowing the score despite Hudson's total domination of play throughout the second period. He got an icing with one second left. Well, like we saw in the stats, Chris, this uh, Chippewa team has been able to put the puck in the net all year, and uh, they got one there, uh, much to our surprise. Logan Murphy in there with David Kane for the Raiders. Kane did a nice job just blocking any of that attempted shot by Murphy. Yeah, Murphy had a stick way back. He knew he was winding up for an opportunity there with one second left. As you said, Kane just kind of got down on his knees and made sure it didn't get through. So at the end of two, the Raiders with a 2-1 advantage over Chippewa Falls. And what do you think, Dave? Well, it was a shock to me that Chippewa could actually, you know, put one in. They, they virtually had no scoring chances the whole second period. Uh, innocent look and play, bloop, bloopy puck comes over the blue line and uh, got kind of kicked or pushed forward. Ends up uh, on the goal crease and it looked like Mattis had it, but it got punched in and, and Chippewa, you know, could make it interesting. Although uh, this Hudson team, I think, has just got too much depth and too much speed for Chippewa to come away from uh, with a win. Uh, I'm going to just check. There's a big basketball game going on here. Uh, Hudson playing um, the uh, Rice Lake Warriors. Uh, and uh, I've been getting text. Oh, Hudson's ahead 28 27 at half. So uh, it's a big matchup of the Big Rivers Powers tonight. And if I'm not so, mistaken, the Rice Lake has a player on their team that will be playing for the golf next year. Yeah, he was also a state high jump champion. Name is Wally Ellens Ellenson, and he's got brothers named Henry and, and uh, Elwood, a sophomore and a freshman. One's 6'6", six, six, the other's 6'7". And uh, poor Wally, the senior, is only 6'4", but I guess if you can high jump seven feet, uh, you can probably put a few, uh, <laughs> few baskets away too. Uh, Dave and I will be right back with the third period. Chris Larson and Dave Drewiski back here for the third period. And Dave alluded to that basketball game going on across town. And that I think is the reason why we've got such a sparse crowd here this evening. The basketball team really on a roll here in Hudson. And it's like a lot of people decide to go there tonight. Yeah, when they announced that Hudson's actually ahead of the state ranked Rice Lake Warriors, nobody cheered. So we have true hockey fans <laughs> here tonight, Chris. Uh, kind yeah. of a crazy ending to that second period. Hudson dominated the whole period. and. Chippewa squeaked in a goal uh, just with the very end of the period. Uh, Hudson had scored two goals. There's another shot. So Chippewa coming out firing. They must have got the big Gipper speech in the locker room from Sco Coach Scott Parker. That was kind of a knuckleballer there. But, yeah, the Raiders with a power play goal and then a goal right after they uh, were coming off a 5-3 advantage. Chippewa Falls getting in there right at the end of the period there, and that's why we're at two to one in the third period here. Yeah, Hudson, I think, kind of was resting on their laurels. They dominated the whole period, whether it was five on five or with the man advantage, and uh, uh, Chippewa looking up, uh, really trying to pick up the pace here. Hudson uh, has been out skating Chip all night. Or, uh, Chip moving the puck with a lot more authority. Puck comes in behind the net. There's Murphy, long centering pass, nobody home. Heck dumps it in, excuse me, Brown dumps it in. P 
picked up by Trapicio over to Fall. Fall overskates the puck and it's sent right back into the Hudson zone. Chippewa looks like they're just gonna play dump and chase, hard four check and uh, try to catch Hudson napping like they did at the end of the second period. Trapicio ridden off the puck. This is, it looks like Chip's gonna try to play very physical here too. Uh, uh, oh, we got a head contact call. So Chippewa, number two, going to the box for a head contact. So Ch Hudson back on the power play uh, here to early in the period. I think the officials the saw something he didn't like there either. He called uh, number 14 back to the bench here for Chippewa Falls. I don't know if he was running his mouth or what was going on out there, but told him to have a seat. Yeah, Hudson had a five on three advantage midway through the uh, second period uh, they did not score despite having some good chances there's newton and quick oh <laughs> great goal mouth feed by newton and <laughs> looking for taylor casey and casey popped it it just rolled up the up the sidebar over the crossbar into the back of the net i thought i thought we'd see the rough signal a goal there great opportunity nice setup uh by newton and Hudson's first line back out on the power play. Haskins will take the face off. Pruitt and Fall next to him. Berkey and Trapiccio behind them. And Berkey dumps it in. Pruitt down there. Chip unable to clear it. Now they do. Berkey back to Trapiccio. Trapiccio sends it back to Pruitt. Pruitt. Trapicio picks it up. Trapicio wanders off the end of his stick, comes back to Haskins, out to Berkey, quickly over to Trapicio. Trapicio shot, deflection just wide. Here's Fall carrying the puck out of the corner. Fall, a little saucer pass to Berkey. Berkey shot in. Oh, deflection came just wide of the Trapicio stick who's standing on the back door. A little cycling here in the corner. Fall over to Trapicio, Trapicio back to Fall. Fall over to Berkey. Berkey shot. Oh, two, two chances for Pruitt on the, on the back door. Another deflection opportunity. Here's Pruitt, tried to slip Whoa. it in. Knocked down by Trapicio. Trapicio around it. A nice job by Murphy. Trapicio had walked around the sprawling Murphy. Murphy Flail the stick out and knock the puck down into the Hudson zone. Long pass to Fall. 21 seconds left on the Hudson power play. Puck left for Trapicio. Long outlet pass to Haskins. Haskins is in the zone all alone waiting for help. Yeah, Newton Pivots and Casey. Around. Over to, there's a couple opportunities right in front. Puck land right on the doorstep. Newton and in there, along with Casey. Nice setup at the goal mouth by Haskins. Powerful. Still no damage done, and the power play's over for Hudson. So Plenty of opportunities there, Chris. Raiders unable to get it in there, and they, again, yeah, several opportunities, but just couldn't find the net. Puck comes out, Romanowski shot wide, comes hard off the back wall, shot Again, wide by Kwadi. Newton, Newton with the steal. swipes a long outlet pass attempt. And that's an ice on Chippewa. Bring a face off back down in the Chippewa zone. The uh, coaches for Chippewa were screaming to wave off that icing uh, to no avail. So they'll bring the puck back into the Chippewa zone. Chippewa Falls skating in the black, the Raiders in white with blue trim. There's Corum taking the face off 
His wings are Greg Berg and Henry Bros. Quadi and Trapiccio behind them. Right, we got the number one line against the number three line here. Hasn't seemed to matter who Coach Stoskoff puts out on the ice. Uh, all the Hudson lines are getting some good pressure. Here's a backhand attempt just wide. Quadi knocks it down, sends it over to Bros. to Bros. Bros tried to center to Corum. Hudson strong, strong on the puck. Long pass. Uh, that'll be another ice. Chippewa continues to float one forward high and trying to hit the home run pass. That's uh, dangerous Logan Murphy out there. Murphy coming in with uh, 27 points. Uh, 14 goals. Both teams change lines here. Chippewa's second line is much bigger than their first line. They're trying to match up uh, size-wise uh, with Hudson's first line. Haskins, Pruitt, and Fall back in there for the Raiders. Hudson's first line is long and athletic. Uh, they've created a lot of scoring chances tonight. Got a big chip in the ice back here. Have to do a little repair work. Well, we needed a little break there, didn't we, Chris? Uh, Everybody needs a break. We're four <laughs> minutes into this period. We've been working hard for the last four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was uh, a lot of opportunities there in that, in that four minutes. Um, we've got... Uh, I'm kind of surprised this Jeremy Schlaget, the goalie for Chippewa, has given up 4.7 goals a game. And uh, you, know, you can see with the number of opportunities Hudson has uh, why other teams have been able to score. Chippewa giving up a lot of opportunities down low. Uh, Hudson's had some great opportunities. We were ready to celebrate a few times, but uh, with pucks rolling up and off the crossbar or uh, you know, off the post, but... Uh, it's, it's a close game here, despite uh, Hudson having almost a two to one advantage in shots. Yeah, it seems like uh, every time the Raiders play at home, we end up with these two one, three one, three two type games. They actually scored 11 goals in their last game at Eau Claire North. The Raiders just seem to, to save that scoring for when they're on the road. They don't want to see their, their home fans to see them score. Well, maybe the home fans got to make some more noise, you know, <laughs> get the boys fired up. Officials still doing a little work out there. Looks like they're happy with what they've done and about ready to get going here. One good thing about this rink, we still have good old fashioned Freon on the cooling loop. So when you get water down, it'll freeze quick. Uh, Hudson will be, this is uh, Hudson's original floor in here and they're gonna have to replace it this coming summer. It's a big fundraising effort on part of the Hudson Hockey Association. They actually are a nonprofit private nonprofit that uh, has provided uh, the rinks for, for Hudson. Uh, great volunteer organization here in Hudson. There's Fall, centering puck to Haskins. Haskins forward to Fall. Oh, Chippewa really packs in uh, into the slot. I think sometimes it's better just to pound the puck on net and go for the rebound when a team is playing that way. Here's Fall around Heck. Fall stays on the puck. Oh, comes out, Taylor sends it around, out to the point. Romanowski chipping it back behind the net. Here's Fall with it. Fall tried to leave it for Pruitt. Now here's Romanowski pinching in, looking for help. Here comes Pruitt to give it that help. Pruitt trying to get it on net, couldn't quite beat that check. Berkey backs out. Uh, Chippewa again, uh, floating two guys. Hudson's gonna burn them if they can get a good pass. There's Berkey shot on, right on the post, blocked by Schlaget. Uh, Haskins, puck comes back to Pruitt. Pruitt, puck floated off the end of his stick. Come back, it's stolen by Newton, and Newton and dumps it out to the point. Quaddy not quite able to get there. Raiders make a personnel change there. Puck dumped into the Chippewa zone. Quaddy picks it up at neutral ice. 
sends it to Newton. Newton and pass a little bit behind Kane. Tabicio knocks it down at the blue line, leaving it. For Taylor Casey. Oops. Now I've got an offsides. Well, that must have been close. It's again in that blind spot. I thought Tupisha was able to keep it. Now they're calling intentional offside here. So the faceoff comes down to the Hudson zone. Kane, Kane will take the faceoff here. Against Nelson. Puck comes out. Tupisha carries it away from the faceoff. Tupisha. Sent it over to Newton a little little hot. Mattis settles it down where Quaddy picks it up. Quaddy across to Casey a little too hot. Shot in front, attempted deflection there by Nelson. And it comes out to Newton and Newton and skates it out of the zone. Tubisho skating it in to the zone. Tubisho sending it, trying to get it to Casey. Now oh, it comes back out on Nelson's stick. Quaddy dumps it into the Chippewa zone. Heavy forecheck there by Lewis. And out into neutral eyes. Tupisho picks it up, sends it wide. There's Burroughs with it. Burroughs tried to dump it in. Eventually ends up on Newton's stick. Greg Berg. Excuse me, Berg. Um, Hudson changing lines. Puck out to neutral ice. A little wide for Berkey. Chip changes lines. Well, Berkey sends it up to Bros. Puck right back out to neutral ice. Hudson on side. Berg fakes a shot, comes in hard. Wheels around the net looking for the trailer. His Pruitt. Oh, Pruitt coming in. Couldn't quite pull the trigger. This is a two on two for Chippewa. Romanowski rides a man into the boards. Heady play by the freshman defenseman. And they're gonna call a charge. Oh, Chippewa, number 22. Sabaska going to the going to the sin bin for a charge. Well, Hudson hopefully can, hopefully can convert on one of these power plays. I think they're actually frustrating the Chippewa players. That's a, there's a big, big shot from the point by Trapicio. Puck comes out to center ice. Trapicio carries it back in. Another shot, this one went high. Picked up by Haskins. Haskins battling down in the corner, comes out with it. He settles it down a little bit. Puck comes over to Berkey. Berkey back into the corner to fall. The fall pivots. He's got Pruitt right on the high slot. Ridden hard into the boards. There's fall out to Trapicio. Trapicio over to fall. Fall wide to Berkey. Berkey back over to Fall. There's Puck ends up on the stick of Trapicio, who comes back to set up the play again. Over to Fall on the sideboards. Now out to Berkey. Berkey shot in the middle, deflection and gloved by Schlaget. Well, a full minute, uh, mostly in the chip was own. Schlaget uh, smothered that deflection attempt. Raiders will switch out their lines. David Keane, Casey, and Newton in there now. Puck comes out. This is Romanowski in front, and there David it is. Kane. That's exactly what you need him to do. Hard shot in, rebound. Big, long David Kane reaches around, schlag it, and puts it home. Hudson out to a 3-1 to one goal. Nice, nice play by that second line. Romanowski just sent it in there, and Kane was in perfect position to put the deflection into the net. And now the Raiders with a little breathing room, 3-1 lead now over Chippewa Falls with the power play goal. 
Well, you know, they, they showed good patience there. Um, Romanowski being patient. Oh, no, big opportunity here right in front. One of the best scoring opportunities Chip was had all night. Hudson cannot go to sleep. This is a dangerous team. They've scored a lot of goals this year. People cannot, cannot go to sleep or rest on their laurels. This puck stolen by Newton. He's got nice hands along with great skating ability. Newton dumps it in. Hudson changes lines. There's Berg out there on the forecheck. Puck almost intercepted by Ben Lewis. Hudson sending two men in on the forecheck. Big Taylor tries to knock it down. He does get it out of the zone. Romanowski sends it right back in off the high glass. Puck deflected way into neutral ice. Berkey uses some of that uh, defensive lineman tactics to run Mr. Taylor off the puck. And the puck goes into the Chippewa zone. Here's a nice centering pass. Berkey shot. Oh, deflected just wide. Coming over to Corum. Corum out to Romanowski. Romanowski shot went high and wide over to Berkey. Berkey dumps it in. Now it comes out to neutralize. Romanowski in good position, skates it into the zone. Ro Romanowski overskated. Harmless shot, backhand on net. Puck comes out to the point. Comes back in behind the Hudson zone. Fortunately there, the Raiders were on a shift change. They had a couple yeah. guys coming in to stop that breakaway attempt. Yeah, scary. Uh, but you don't expect, there's a trip. So Chip was gonna go on the, gonna go on the power play here with 6.13 left. The call so on Greg, Greg Berg. Berg. 6.13 left in the game. Kind of an inadvertent trip there, working for the puck, but uh, still it puts Chippewa on the power play. Puck goes behind the net. Romanowski battling back there. Three Cardinals back behind the end line. There, Romanowski using his body well. Puck out to the boards, knocked down by Laval. Ends up on the stick. Nice block of an attempted pass there. Comes out to the point. Heck hit hard into the boards by Pruitt. There's a long outlet pass just off Pruitt's stick. Schlaget puts it over to the sideboards. Pruitt picks it up. Pruitt stick handling out to center ice to kill some time. Good heady play by Pruitt. Swenson sends it over to Laval. Lavelle skates it into the Hudson zone. Their puck knocked over to the sideboards by Berkey. Berkey. Berkey battling off a check by Taylor. And still, there's a dangerous shot there from the high slot by Murphy. Murphy floating around high. Another centering attempt there. Sabatka trying to chip it in. Here's Trapisha with it. Reverses and finally clears the zone. Got an elbow called. Okay, well this will even it up. Chippewa Falls as Sabatka uh, goes to the penalty box. 35 seconds left on the Chippewa Falls power play. So we'll skate four on four for the next 35 seconds, and the Raiders will have a 125 advantage. So at the 12 12 mark, we go to four on four hockey. Here's Casey. Casey face taking off. face off against Murphy. Casey battling. Oh, boy, they're going to, they're going to, it's going to go to four on three here. Casey's going to go probably for a, oh, a contact to the head. My. Looked like he just threw an elbow into the, the brisket. Either way, it's two minutes. 
And Casey. Well, now we're going to see four on th <laughs> four on four for the next 25 seconds. Kind four of on a three. Four, four on, on three. three. Uh, yeah, Good kind of a rare one. configuration here. Hudson Tubicio comes away with the puck, sends it down the ice. Chippewa's got to come 200 feet. It's a good forecheck by Haskins. Haskins comes up with it, sends it back to Tupicio. Hudson's going to kill this man advantage off, and then we'll go to four on four hockey. Yeah, the Raiders with Haskins, Tupicio, and Berkey out there, and now we're four on four. Here's Nelson at center ice, loses a handle on the puck. Laval skating it in, sends it soft shot on net, kicked wide by Mattis. Comes over to Tupicio. Tupicio sends it up. And a little fall dumps it in the zone. Good forecheck by Pruitt. Ends up with the puck. He's got him, he's got fall in front. He was trying to center it there to Tupicio. It's struck stuck in the zone. Tupicio keeps it in the Chippewa zone. Tupicio looking looking for an opening, then he leaves it for Pruitt. Boy, now they're gonna have a coincidental between Heck and uh, Pruitt. They were just battling for position down there, but uh, they're both gonna go. I'm gonna call it a coincidental rough. So both guys will have a seat, but uh, will stay at the same amount of skaters on the ice. Tapiccio looking for Kane, he's got him. Another oh. goal by David Kane. David tonight. Kane, second goal of the night. Well, Hudson <laughs> wastes no time. So, so the Raiders extend their lead to four to one with 324 left in the game. It only took four seconds. You know, one thing about this line, they, they play their angles really well. They're real efficient with puck movement uh, and they're burying their chances. Kane's still on the ice, so everyone's hat is in some danger in the crowd right now. Fall, uh, I, David Keane, assists go to uh, Tupicio and Fall. So it wasn't that second line, excuse me. I was, I was writing down some stats here. Here's a two on one here. Oh. Mattis with a nice save. Mattis with a great save there. Steinmetz streaking to the net. Nice little saucer pass. Uh, Mattis came out got big and deflected that pass, chipped it over Steinmetz's stick and uh, didn't get a shot off. And four on four for another two seconds. Chippewa, uh, Hudson will have a 10 second. There's a hard shot deflected wide by Mattis. Comes out on Nelson's stick. Nelson's. There Mattis stretches that long wing out and gobbles up the puck take that opportunity away from Taylor. So both teams, both teams skating at full strength here with 235 left in the game. Yeah, we haven't had much full strength <laughs> hockey here. Uh, puck bounces out, ends up on the stick of Romanowski, hard across to Bros. Laval keeps it in. This Laval has played a very good game. He's logged a ton of minutes. Hard to get the puck by him on the point. Uh, there's a stolen puck. Good opportunity. Finally it comes out. Romanowski skating it in. Romanowski hard shot. Deflected wide by Schlaget. Comes out to Quadi. Quadi chips it up to Romanowski. You can see why this freshman made the team. Smart player, great skater, good with the puck. 
There's good pass up to Nelson. Puck skitters harmlessly into the slot, but we just don't like to uh, go without special teams here tonight. <laughs> Another penalty on Hudson. This will be a trip. I'm going to have to get a new page <laughs> on my score sheet here. Dave's going to run out of ink in his pen tonight. Yeah. Fall going to the box. A minute 48 left here. Taylor so, Case, Casey will take the face off for Hudson. So Hudson with a four to one lead. Steinmetz for Chippewa. Oh, dangerous. Boy, that didn't take long. Hard Jared, shot from the point. Sabaska send it towards the net and then the Chippewa able to score on the deflection. Burkle with his second goal of the night. Sabaska fourth in the team in points. And uh, came into the game with six assists. So it's a 4-2 game with Hudson the lead. There's 140 another. left. Well, that was just a flat out good play. You got to give him that. Uh, good hard shot from the point. There's another puck in the, in the center. Nice job battling there, Mr. Berkey. He cleared the zone. Chippewa, I think, is going to pull their goalie pretty quick. Oh, there's a dangerous drop pass here. Hudson does get it out to neutralize. Flip pass by Romanowski. That'll be an ice. Minute three left here. Chippewa's going to have to start thinking about it here pretty soon. The problem with pulling the goalie against this Hudson team is they skate so well. It's even with an advantage, it's tough to keep the puck over on the opposite side of the uh, ice. Hudson just needs to take good care of the, care of the goal down in their own, uh, of the puck down in their own net. There's a good breakout here for Hudson. Fall with speed into the Chippewa zone, dumps it into the corner. We're down to the last minute of play here. Hudson with their top line out. Chippewa has not pulled their goalie. Long cross ice pass, tipped wide, comes out on the stick of Haskins. Haskins over to Fall. Fall up to Pruitt. Pruitt chips it over to Haskins. Haskins into the zone. Haskins around a man. There ends up, oh, Pruitt almost got a little opportunity there. We've got James Fall doing some nice stick handling in the corner, killing time. Puck comes out to Burke or to Quaddy, Quaddy dumps it back down in the corner to fall. Hudson playing keep away here. Pruitt, and er, there's Nelson getting around, uh, but does not get it on net. We're down to the final 10 seconds. And Hudson's gonna walk away with a four to two win here. Uh, icing here in the last four tenths of a second. But Hudson's gonna come away with a well-earned Big Rivers Conference victory. As we said coming in, these teams are, were deadlocked with 3-2 records and tied for third place in the Big Rivers Conference. That's the end of the game. <laughs> we saw a lot, of, a lot of action that third period, Chris. With all those penalties, uh, both teams had some opportunities and that led to a lot of shots and uh, made for an exciting third period. Raiders again, able to get the advantage in that third period. The Raiders have done a nice job in the third period all season long and uh, right there with the two to one goals advantage here in the third period and that leads to a four two victory for the Raiders and the Raiders move to four and two in the Big Rivers Conference and sole possession of third place just one game behind Rice Lake. I think if this Raiders team can just be a little bit more patient those goals are gonna come they're a handful for teams to play. They're deep, they're experienced, they've got some talent. Uh, not the pure snipers that we might have had in the past, but we've got a lot of good hockey players, a lot of good experienced hockey players. They're getting solid goaltending from Josh Mattis. Um, you know, they can, they can give anybody a, a tough game. And I think they're waiting for that rematch with Eau Claire Memorial. They only lost to him three to two last time. Uh, they're going to be playing in that warm barn over there in, in, at Hobbs Arena in Eau Claire. 
but I think they can give Eau Claire all, all, they, all they want and, and perhaps skate away with a victory. Yeah, they got um, that soft ice over there. It kind of slows the game down over at Hobbs, but uh, it'll definitely be an interesting game. And really, this Hudson team lost in overtime to Rice Lake, so both teams ahead of them in the standings. The Raiders have played right with both of them. Yeah, they, they had a nasty tendency to outshoot their opponents 2-1 to one and lose games. I don't think that's going to happen any longer. How about stars of the game tonight, Chris? Who did you see as having an outstanding game? Well, I think the star of the game has got to be David Kane on that second line to come up with two goals. That was the difference tonight. Four He's to two win. Pretty long and strong. He reached around the goalie for the first goal and had a nice put back on the second goal. Um, you know, I, I also uh, want to call out the play of uh, number two freshman, A.J. Romanowski. He a uh, nice patience uh, setting up the uh, goal. Uh, and, uh, you know, real heady play for a freshman. And then for the third star of the game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out number 14, Laval, for Chippewa Falls. Played a lot of minutes, played smart. Um, and, uh, and perhaps this Gage Burkle will give him a third star. He got both goals for Chippewa Falls. So we got to give the Cardinals a little bit of credit, even though they were out skated most of the night. Yeah, one, one thing that, that we, we had talked about throughout the game was that when teams play Hudson, even when they come in averaging a lot of goals, they don't score a lot of goals against Hudson. We've got good goaltenders, but another thing that we have is the defensemen for this uh, Hudson team are probably the best set of defensemen you'll see in the conference. Yeah, yeah, Trapicio's a terrific defenseman. Um, You've got Big Berkey out there who's yeah. kind of the enforcer as well. So. Yeah, yeah, and so it's, it's, it's nice to see. We look for good things from this Hudson team. Sorry I won't be able to do any more games with you, Chris, this year, but it's been a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, this Saturday, Superior Spartans, number two ranked in the state, coming to the uh, – Gornick Rink here, one o'clock game. What do you see? What do you see there, Chris? Should be a fun game. And one good thing, we, we talked to Jeff Holmes here uh, in the intermissions, and he says his son is uh, has a doctor's appointment this week, and he's got that broken jaw expected to be cleared, and he should be ready to go for the game Saturday. Yeah, one point about Michael Holmes. These Hudson kids play with a lot of heart. Michael Holmes went down to block a shot. A shot came up underneath his face mask and broke his jaw but he can't wait to get back on the ice. So we'll be glad to see you again, Michael. So it should be a lot of fun. Thanks so much, Dave Drewiski, for stopping by and helping us out. I know you'd like to do more of them, but Dave has uh, two daughters playing in sports as well, so he's got to chase them around. He's got a busy busy uh, winter sports schedule. So uh, we'll have Paul Pruitt back in the booth with me coming up Saturday against Superior. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching Hockey on the River Channel.